8 out of 11 potions. Dang it. There's gonna be more good shit in here. As you say. Whoa. That looks scary. That looks very scary. Immediately. I'm screwed. I'm not going to shoot this in here. Pretty nasty little surprise there, though. Uh, Stand still alive, mostly. Um, compared to Kevlar, dang it, six damage. Can't use that one from this requirement. What? I'm gonna save this because there might be a bitch and have another trap on this chest or something. Damn it. Yes? Is there something you wish to discuss? If not, we should hurry. Time is of the essence. Adrala was a bard in the service of Divine Clemens I during the Second Exalted March. The schism had split the Chantry into the one we know and the Imperial Chantry in Devinter. There was much mistrust of the Devinter Imperium at this time, as you can imagine. Even though the Imperial Chantry forbade blood magic, the Chantry, our Chantry, did not believe them. After all, many of the Tevinter mages, and even their Magister Lords, had used blood magic with impunity throughout history. Together, with the help of the Chantry and its Templars, Adrala wrote the litany to protect against the mind-controlling abilities of blood mages. 
It is just a spell, like any other spell. Any mage should be able to recite it. Reciting the litany breaks any existing mind control and prevents future attempts at domination from being successful. So we should use it before we get mind Onward, controlled then. in a battle? I'm unable to do that. Hey. I'm unable to do that. We must help him. What the hell? This trick again? I know what you are. It won't work. I will stay strong. The boy is exhausted. And this cage, I, I've never seen anything like it. Rest easy. Help is here. Uh. Enough visions! If anything in you is human, ugh, kill me now and stop this game! You broke the others, but I will stay strong for my sake. For theirs. Filthy blood mages getting in my head. Ah, I, I will not break. I'd rather die. Silence! I'll not listen to anything you say. Now be gone! Still here. But that's always worked before. I close my eyes, but you are still here when I open them. Don't blame me for being cautious. The voices, the, the images, so real. Did Gregor send you? How? How did you get here? Good. Kill Aldred. Kill them all for what they've done. They caged us like animals. Looked for ways to break us. I'm the only one left. They turned some into monsters and... Oh, there was nothing I could do. What others? What are you talking about? Irving and the other mages who fought Aldred. Where are they? They are in the harrowing chamber. The sounds coming up from there. Oh, Maker. We must hurry. They are in grave danger, I am sure of it. You can't save them! You don't know what they've become. They've been surrounded by, by blood mages whose wicked fingers snake into your mind and corrupt your thoughts. His hatred of mages is so intense. The memory of his friend's deaths is still fresh in his mind. You have to end it now, before it's too late. Shut up. To ensure this horror is ended, to guarantee that no abominations or blood majors live, you must kill everyone up there. That is your choice to make, but I beg you to consider what I have to say. You cannot tell Maleficarum by sight. Just one could influence the mind of a king of a grand cleric. You may be confident in your ability to stand up to them, but what about the rest of us? Will you protect us from them? <sighs> no one ever listens. Not until it's far too late. Make her turn his gaze on you. I hope your compassion hasn't doomed us all. There's the harrowing chamber. 
This is gonna get ugly.